ACI1948 here. Got a new camera for the uh, channel. I'm going to try and give you guys better quality video. This is a Sony Handycam CX, or HDR CX240. It's a little bit of an older model of Sony, but uh, I found it online. It was refurbished for, I want to say it was like $75. So I ordered it. It came with the camera and charging cable. This was all nice, neat, and packaged. It, I mean, it was in bubble wrap. This was in bubble wrap, and that everything else was too. It was really well done. They did a good job. But uh, your charging cable, which is a USB male to female on here, because the way you charge this one is, yeah, that pops out. You plug this into there, and then you plug the other end into your wall outlet, which they actually give you, which is really nice. And then it came with a um, HDMI to, I think it was mini USB, or USB. I can't remember what type that one was. It's the same standard style that um, like Android phones use. So you can watch your stuff on TV. And it came with the owner's manual. It's nice too. If you like reading instructions. <laughs> um, yeah, this camera, it's I kind of like it. It's got this little... Uh, little switch there <laughs> to cover the lens cap. This camera here, the lens cap's been lost for a long time. Uh, let's see here. I guess I should have set this up on the tripod. To turn it on, you just open it up. It turns on. Oh, close the... There we go. Open the lens cap. It works pretty good. I've done a few test videos with it, so I'll uh, uh, insert them as the next scene and we'll do the rest of the video on this camera. Alright, here's the first test of the um, Sony Handycam. This is the camera I had been using. A little Canon uh, PowerShot SL400IS. It's been a good little camera. comes on quick it works good I'll still be using this for like secondary shots but uh, yeah for the most part this one's probably gonna get retired and just used for uh, secondary shots and it only does 720p and that's what the big uh, big issue is this one does 1080 so it should be a little nicer picture but all right go outside and see how this camera does all right, trying out the Sony Handycam for the first time, really. Ah, looking at the Dakota. Shame, it's getting rust. You get little rocks and dirt and everything up behind there, and there's really nowhere you can you can't go up, get up in there to clean it out. So it just sits there and rots out. It's the only real bad spot on this truck. The rest of it's not too terrible. Right there too. I don't know what caused that. I wonder if that was a rock chip. I don't know. This truck has Destination AT Firestones on it. They've been pretty good tires. They still got a little bit of tread left on. But I've liked them. They do good in the snow as long as you got some weight in the bed of the truck. Yeah, I got a couple bags of sand. My, the rest of my sand, it, uh, it all went out. And, rotted away and <laughs> went back to the earth. <laughs> I come in the shed here and see how it does. Simplicity, it uh, is still waiting for tires. Other than that, it's ready to go. Well, that and battery's out of it, so I can't start it right this minute. Generator's all ready to go. I haven't really had a need for it, thankfully, but uh, <laughs> it's there. Uh, the moped, did I get a drop of water on the lens? It looks like I did. Okay. Alright, the uh, <laughs> Gorelli moped, It uh, I had it running the other day. Should fire up. 
Yeah. Might have to choke it. All right, don't worry. It will run, the gas is just a little bit old. Uh, Harbor Freight air compressor has been holding up really well. The um, Campbell Housefield um, hose reel on the other hand has not been that great. This thing, it fires up. Yeah, you can hear the air getting transferred over to this tank. Now this thing has been leaking air on me, and it it wasn't very long after I started using it either. I was pulling it out and I start hearing a hissing noise and it's coming from in here, so something broke. It still gets air through it, it's just it, it leaks air out really quick. So I gotta remember to shut this off, and that's I forgot to. Otherwise, it'll drain both the tanks out pretty quick. <laughs> uh, so, oh well. I don't know if I'd buy one of them again. I like the idea of it. It swivels back and forth, but uh, oh, and another thing I don't like is this. I wanted to get some electrical tape or something and put it up around there just to protect the hose a bit. It's not really sharp, but it still rubs. So, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that heater there, I really haven't used it too much. And when it gets really cold out here, it doesn't do a whole lot. I mean, if, if you're working like in this area and you keep it like real close to what you're doing, it'll keep you warm. It's definitely better than working outside. But, yeah, go around, see how it does outside here in the carport. Here's the work bird. Paint, the uh, diamond hard paint I used is holding up really well, but I guess I use spray paint on this because it's, it's just rusting. Let's see, that's good, that's good. This thing's just rusting out. I don't know what to uh, yeah, I just used spray paint on it, but I'm not sure what I did. Something, because <laughs> I used spray paint on this, and it's perfectly fine. It's just a little dirty. So I don't know what's going on with this section here. I'm going to have to sand it down and repaint it. The rest of it, though, is in pretty good shape. Still need to get the headlight back in it. and Tires for it. Tires are expensive. That's my biggest hole-up on some of my projects. Uh, Yazoo, it's uh, it should be ready to go this summer. Uh, this thing I had ready to go, minus the gas being in it, but uh, I didn't never snowed enough to need it. That there, I was working on it for a guy, and we kind of decided it wouldn't be worth investing the amount of money uh, to fix it because it was missing the deck lift mechanism. I needed. Well, all four tires need replaced on it. It was kind of getting to a point where he could have bought another cheap mower for uh, for less than what it would have cost to really fix this thing up. So I ended up with it. He was going to scrap it. So I've got 11 horse Briggs in it. So, yeah, got an extra carburetor and everything and throttle controls. So... It's good parts more to keep around. Falcon's looking pretty good. Guess I do a quick cold start on that. Got the key on me. Cup of 
pumps. And she fires right up. Yep. Hard to argue with that. Alright, well, I think that's going to do it for this video. I'll uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.